Hey pleasure spenders and all you wonderful people watching. This is Christine and my cat Montague. Welcome to the shopping therapy couch. Uh, welcome if you're new to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back. I really appreciate it. Uh, we do uh, Dollar Tree hauls, crafts, uh, gardening, all the uh, home and, and lifestyle things that other channels do. But today we are doing a Dollar Tree haul. So if you're interested, um, stay tuned. So if you are, uh, sit back, relax, uh, take your troubles out of the door for a little while and do some shopping therapy with us. Okay, let's go. Okay, so as you can see today that we are doing this whole haul on my daughter's favorite blanket, which is, um, her favorite is Star Wars, but in particular she likes the characters of the Stormtroopers. So Monty seems like he's just enjoying the blanket himself. So anyway, with that being said, and the start of the school season, my daughter turned three last month, so she's kind of in the pre-K range. And um, so I have no idea what's happening with like the, the school systems or anything like that. So uh, instead of the daycare and stuff, I'm going to try my hand at teaching her some of the basics and the phonics. So let's get started with this. So I got a bunch, a bunch of uh, learning material. They have a pretty good section for the teachers, which I really appreciate. So we're going to start off with some of the workbooks that they carry. <laughs> he was sitting on them. So anyway, they have the set of Crayola uh, workbooks here. And as you can see, they have an alphabet one, uh, beginning sounds, uh, same or different with little puzzles, as you can see. And then, of course, numbers. She's starting to count and she, recognize, she recognizes the uh, amount of things. But I think... Uh, little assignments like that is going to help and I can flip through some of these too uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to detach some of these pages and put them it underneath that uh, plastic wrap or that uh, I, I don't know those plastic envelopes and so she could use a dry erase and she can scribble and practice all that she likes without um, harming the pages and so we can use these over and over again they had some uh, off-brand too. Well, not off-brand, but different kinds of brands. So they had a Sesame Street. So it's it's kind of the same deal. I really like that. Um, again, I'm going to put them under uh, the laminated sheets. So she's going to be doing uh, shapes and sizes, which that's pretty cool. Uh, another Dr. Seuss. I thought that, that these were like kind of fun with the big letters and the artwork and stuff. Um, so, and then she's got some little puzzles and things like that, but just to, uh, relax her brain and everything like that, give her something else to do other than studying. So I just got her a coloring book as well. This one just has some fun in images. And, uh, so she's starting to color within the lines, which, which is pretty good. I don't think that she can handle dot to dot or, um, other things like that, but I think that'll be kind of fun for her to do. Uh, they had some other games too. So they had this feed the monsters and where you feed them like letters and, uh, and vegetables and things like that. So when I saw that and then I saw they had some color forms, I was just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, you you have to be matching. Of course you do. So, so I thought like the, the monster theme was kind of funny. So I got those. and But the other things, they had some more color forms and I got some of those. So they did have some astronauts. And then they had an on the farm thing. And let's see if I can zoom up here but basically they have uh, stickers and scenes and I think you can like I haven't opened this but I think you might be able to use like these stickers over and over again so I think that I'm gonna 
uh, build her vocabulary uh, with the animals and the scenes and the machinery. And I think that I think it's going to be a good time. Uh, I got some just plain old decoration. Maybe I'll um, do some of her like worksheets and binders. And so I thought that was really cute. Like it's a, a border and it's like a bunch of like cookies and some of them are eaten. So I thought I thought that was neat. Uh, I don't actually have like a big uh, sheet or anything like that. Like, um, but I thought you know, and you get twelve of them. So I guess I can experiment and and uh, do some borders and things like that on other things. Uh, they had these book rings, which I thought these these were cool um, Just to like even if I wanted to do like hair clips or like the scrunchies or whatever I could do that, but I actually made some homemade uh, Cards and Instead of like this little string here. I thought I would be better organized and I know these are going get away from me and they're gonna be all over the place but I just ended up cutting out different shapes by myself out of just like old cards and things but I thought that would be nice to organize and and string them together like that uh, along with all the workbooks and stuff I got some dry erase markers so I got some multiple colors Maybe I should uh, go to Staples or something and get some like pastels or some, some exciting colors other than the basics, but I think this will be enough to get us started. I uh, got a couple of activities too, where I got some pom-poms and some tweezers here, so I think she'll have fun putting the pom-poms in different uh, containers, so I thought maybe that would be a good counting and... Um, shapes lessons so we'll see how that pans out got some planner stickers here so i thought that was cute with like the astronauts and you got some other things going on but yeah i thought that was really cute keep us on track uh get some variety in uh, in our planning and maybe i'll be a better uh planner and actually get more done during the day um, but we'll we'll see and the last thing on the list has nothing to do with like school or anything it's just plain pleasure spending and I just thought that uh, the leaves of fall uh, was just making me happy yeah hi there so I ended up getting four of them and uh, it's okay sweetie yeah so I got some uh, white ones two Two white ones, uh, an orange one, and a yellow one. So that is it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. And we'll see you all the next time. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. I'm back. I'm kind of whispering. It's really early in the morning and everybody's sleeping. Monty uh, ate and went outside, so he'll probably be crying to come back in pretty soon. So anyway, I just wanted to do an update on the material uh, from the hall that was done on um, Monday. Uh, students were supposed to go back to school, a lot of them here, at least in the Detroit area, on September 1st, which is yesterday. And so it brings us to today, Wednesday morning. So anyway, here is some of the material, like here is the um, wall, um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, wall borders, that's what this says. So anyway, uh, that's that. And um, so this is what I came up with. So uh, the cookies kind of came, uh, was like the theme. So I came up with these two binders. This has those, uh, what, five or six workbooks um, that I showed in the haul. So let's do the alphabet one first. So I'm not sure if I showed so showed you guys in the haul, but uh, there, this was also from uh, the Dollar Tree. This has the uh, dry erase markers in it. Here is a calendar from a couple hauls ago. This has my uh, lesson plans in it. Uh, as you can see, I got some title pages here to introduce the different sections. 
so yesterday we did the letter A so um, she colored in the X and the alligator and actually uh, this is a little old um, but I can take some rubbing alcohol to it and uh, like the A that was all colored in yesterday so I know that's gonna come out so we can actually use these um, pages over and over again in the back I have different pockets but uh, I use some of the um, outside of the workbooks so I had some of them like the Crayola ones had some certificates in it uh, there is a monster game that I hauled so um, you have the letters in and uh, dry erase markers and then you feed the Im different images to the monster they actually come with the stickers but um, it doesn't actually it's not like a color form where you stick and you can use it over and over again. So I ended up putting out some cardstock, and uh, so I I started putting the the uh, stickers on there so I can use these over and over again. And because they're like tiles, I think we can do more with them and um, use them for different games and stuff. So that's how I'm going to solve that problem. And uh, these turned out pretty good too. She actually liked that. Like like I said, a was yesterday so we did astronauts and aliens and she set up that whole scene it's pretty much the same deal with the um this one's just numbers and shapes and stuff like that but you see uh, it's the same deal and then uh from an older haul but dollar tree actually is doing pretty good you just have to be uh, a little bit creative so they i think these are they sold these like last year but these are like little dry erase boards so we're going to do the um days of the week and then she'll circle the the day of the week and then uh, we'll put a sticker for the weather or whatever but anyway uh that's it i just wanted to give you um an update on some of the ideas um hopefully that gives you ideas and i'm gonna watch some of your videos so i can get more ideas so anyway uh hopefully if you have kids hopefully it's a start to a great school year and uh yeah all right let's uh let's stay positive and uh even though chaos is raining right now uh with the school and kids and i just discovered that uh things were at chaos level before but now it's uh, i don't know what the heck i'm doing now but anyway that's cool so anyway, we'll see you all the next time. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>